The Quantum Doctor, a physicist's guide to health and healing. Dr. Ahmed Goswami. In an event of quantum collapse, consciousness splits itself into what we experience as subject-object awareness, subject experiencing an object as separate from it. Past experiences cloud our cosmic nature to an apparent individuality, the ego, via a process that can be called conditioning. But how do we manifest our potential for downward causation then? Are you ready for a little quantum yoga? The Non-Locality of Consciousness Consider a paradox first raised by the Nobel laureate physicist Eugene Wigner against the idea that quantum collapse consists of consciousness choosing actuality from quantum possibilities. That collapse is due to a conscious choice by an observer raises the spectre of pandemonium in a case where there are two observers and two contradictory choices. To be concrete, consider the following scenario. Suppose you and your friend drive to a traffic light from two perpendicular directions. Let's say that the traffic light is a quantum traffic light with two possibilities, red and green. Now being busy Americans, you will both want to choose green, of course. If both of you get your choices, there is pandemonium. To avoid it, only one of you must be granted the power to choose. But on what criterion? Who gets to choose? Wigner was puzzled, because to him, the only legitimate answer seemed to be a philosophy called solipsism. Only you are real, and the rest of us, your friend included, are figments of your imagination. Then you are the chooser, and there is no paradox. Fortunately, there is another solution that Wigner missed. If it is always one consciousness choosing from behind our apparent individuality, the paradox disappears also. A unitive consciousness can choose objectively. So in a large number of such situations, you and your friend each will get his or her wish half of the time. So consciousness is one and universal, or as Erwin Schrödinger, one of the co-discoverers of quantum mathematics, put it, consciousness is a singular for which there is no plural. There are no two consciousnesses. Our individuality is an illusory epiphenomenon of experience. So we can choose health over disease. Can we heal ourselves from a disease using the power of downward causation? Yes, we can, provided we develop the ability of transcending the ego and rising to unitive consciousness. Learn more about our exciting educational programs at quantumuniversity.com.